Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Distant Worlds Universe, episode 16 for this series. Let's jump right into it and get started. We've got a couple different planets here that we uh, managed to colonize last time, so that was pretty good, or the last couple episodes anyways. Um, one thing that we do need to do, and maybe focus on a little bit in this episode, is our military strength. Taking a look at this, we're not too far off. We've got a couple people here, 3,000, 5,000, 4,000. But then we've got, you know, 18,000, 16,000, 18,000, and 62,000. Yeah. And we're over here at 5,700. So we're not that bad, but we're not that good. So that's something that we're definitely going to uh, uh, take a look at doing this episode. Is uh, definitely working on increasing our military firepower. So where is our fleets? Our first assault fleet carries uh, a bulk, actually it carries all of our firepower. Uh, the A-Team for three ships has a lot of it too, but they carry a bulk of our firepower there with 20 ships. The first defense fleet might bulk them up a little bit. That wouldn't be a bad idea. We are doing pretty good on cash flow bonus income as well as all right a lot of that resort income so that's good what are the taxes right now in our colonies so terra's got a tax of 28 percent because the population is maxed out uh we're gonna bump that up to 30 30 percent it's a lot of taxes and the other colonies uh, we're just waiting for those populations to boost you can already tell ultramar and uh, mars here looking pretty well actually 145 million and 85 million these guys are not happy because of resource shortages hmm yeah yeah, they do have quite the quite the shortage going on. Um, to give it some time. Let's give it some time. What I might have to do is I might have to actually go through the design screen, and I did recently upgrade the freighters, didn't I? I could have swore I just recently did those. Let's take a look. 21230628. No. No, I haven't gone through and done these in a while, actually. So let's go through real quick and upgrade all of these. Um, just the freighters, actually. Just the freighters. What do we got? What are we using right now? What is hurting us? Jarek's hyperdrive, 4250. Can we get more out of that? I don't think so. Pretty sure that's as fast as it gets. And that is the most recent one we have. I could just put more cargo bays on here. Small cargo bay 14. What do we got right now? What do, do we have we upgraded yet to anything? We got the small cargo bay. Doesn't seem, I don't know if there's really anything else we could do with these ships. Yeah, I'm just going to leave these how they are. And the only thing I'm going to do is just keep them like that. Because there's really no point in me. I don't have anything really to put on them yet. They did upgrade a little bit with the auto upgrade, but that's really all they need. But I, I don't have faster uh, drives yet. I think I am working on that though. Right? Or at least I have it queued up. Was it energy? I do. Fast hyperdrive, speed 7,000, which is going to make a pretty big difference. And that's queued up number three. What's number two? Advanced nuclear fission. 
enhanced gas extraction, improved gas extraction, self-optimizing extractors. Yeah, because I, I want to work on getting the resources out of the planets quicker. Okay, that's fine then. I'm okay with that. Cash flow is doing pretty well. So we'll just leave that at that. And we'll play the game a little bit quicker. Now, a really good question is where is my construction ships? That's right, they're waiting to retrofit and they can't retrofit because... I've got a million colony ships being built there, I think it was. I just had a lot of colony ships. Lots of freighters sitting around. Oh, no, those are escorts. New colony governor. Let's take a look at him. He's at Terra right now, and he's governing Terra. There's really no point in me putting him at Terra uh, because my leader's there. He's ruling from Terra, so I don't really need somebody governing it. At least not right now. He's got a colony happiness bonus. We don't know what it is, but we know he's got one. Let's go ahead and put him on uh, the Cantrim Junction 2, which I need to rename. But let's put him there because they have a happiness problem, I believe. Yes, they have a happiness problem, so hopefully he'll uh, boost the happiness of that. I'm actually sending my first defense fleet there because I have a feeling they're going to rebel. And... Uh, flip and then I'll have to go there and uh, actually deal with that. I was also planning on going to war with the Haroon Kel here or or uh, what are they? Yeah, the Haroon Kel Confederacy. I was actually planning on going to war with them and taking them over. Lots of stuff just happened. Trojan Worlds, Lady of Trojan Worlds, Jaka Rexili has been killed. Effective immediately all of our trade with your tyrannical empire is terminated. The Akdarian Coalition uh, for whatever reason, uh, put trade sanctions on us. And our ambassador, Jacob, uh, Jacob, or Jacob, has acquired a new character trait, Measured. Not bad. We got a ship captain here waiting at Terra. Let's put him in the Angry Anarchy. There we go. All right. So we said the military, the military, we got to work on fixing the military. That is something we need to work on. Let's build five, six more escorts and we're going to put them Uh, in the first defense fleet. I think that was a fleet I said I wanted to boost up a little bit. Yep, first defense fleet. Let's get them built. That'll help us with our firepower a little bit. Something we got to gradually work on. Uh, something we got to build up over time. And then I want to attack them soon as well. Um, I actually do probably have the ability to do it right now. Which of you have troops which of these planets have troops we've got our homeworld here Terra they've got a lot of troops on them we've got Ultramar lots of troops stationed uh, Mars they don't have any troops Mars has a little bit Ultramar has a lot because that was a planet that actually flipped at one point wow these populations are boosting fast good 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 that's gonna be a lot of tax money Okay, where is my landing force? Select this fleet. They don't have any troops on them currently. So we're going to set them to go to, I think, Thela here. And move to Ultramar. They were actually refueling, which is good. We're going to have them go there and actually pick up some troops. Because Thela is... The planet's not happy, but they're not sad plus 13 so they're neutral right now so we can pick the troops up we'll probably be okay and we'll go ahead and pick them up and then we will send them off to uh get ready to go to war with these guys really did they they acquired more planets oh boy 
They're growing kind of big. What is their uh, military strength is still a joke. Construction of the trade guild has begun. Okay, nice. Gifts, gifts, gifts. Who likes us right now? Friendly and friendly. Unfortunately, we're about to go to war with probably our only friends in the universe. I don't have to go to war with them. I could just keep them as a friend. They could eventually be a powerful ally, right? Their military is way too weak, though. It's probably just way better that I take them over and incorporate them. They're humans. Yeah, I should take them over. They need to be... They need to be liberated. They need democracy. I'm going to give them democracy. They have a confederacy right now. I have a military dictatorship, but I'm going to bring them democracy. Uh, secure and race. Begin the regular three-year cycle. The A-team showing up in Thela there. Awesome. Poor recruiter. Congratulations, general. Lots of escorts being built. That is good. They're going to fly on over and meet our first defense fleet. And that'll be really useful to have that. So what is our military power looking like right now? Sitting a little bit better. Um, I don't remember if I can find it in this screen. I don't think I can. I'm sure it's somewhere in there. Oops. But I know it's here. 6,100. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, 422 qu credits. Wow. I'll be sure not to spend that all in one place. All right. A planet has been colonized. Yes, that's right. We did set up a planet to be colonized. Yeah, that's right. Right in our home system here. So we've got three planets in our home system. That is going to be huge. Seriously, that is a pretty big deal. Um, because it's going to be so easy to protect all three of these planets. Um, I gotta say that we've gotta be doing pretty well, uh, compared to the other colonies when it comes to the, uh, territory. Not bad. We're number nine. And, uh, we're tied with these guys here. If we take the, the Harun Kale Confederacy over, who are actually pretty high up there, they're number six. If we take them over, that's got to at least boost us up to number four. But I want to make sure that we don't uh, we don't fill our bridges too quickly um, because we're just going to collapse and get divided. We're going to fall apart. I have to balance the colonies I have first. I don't have a large enough military really technically to keep up with, you know, the colonies we have. Now, oh, sorry, I have a noisy computer chair. I got to buy a new one. So if we take a look, we've got Mars and Ultramar. They're pretty happy, but these two are pretty sad. They'll get up there. They'll get happy. It's just going to take them some time. These ones are growing quick. <laughs> like, look at these planets. They're just uh, climbing right up there. And that is some good, good stuff. We're kind of being uh, blocked here by these uh, construction ships. I'm supposed to be sending them off to, to these debris fields to build some of those ships and I'm getting kind of upset because these construction ships are just kind of chilling. Is there even any more planets for me to technically colonize? There's one up here, right? Is that what this is telling me? Oh yeah, wow, 90%. Well, I have to go for that, crap. All right, so I gotta wait for whatever construction ship's being built right now. High tech, no research, really, you're kidding me. I, um, open trade network. Yep, yep, yep. Medical entertainment system. Standard fuel storage. That's a big deal. I'm pretty sure we just got that. I'm going to want to go put that out. I had a lot of my ships soon. I guess we'll work on getting all these research phases unlocked. That seems like a safe idea. Weapons. We're going for enhanced gravitic beams. After that, why don't we jump into the infantry defense project? Um, actually, heavy armor plating. And the infantry attack project. Energy, advanced nuclear fission, yeah, blah, blah, blah. The hyperdrives are going to take forever. 960k project size. They're going to take a minute. We can build 
dedicated carriers now. We should go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll actually save that one for next episode. Next episode, we'll build dedicated carriers. Thrust vectors, proton ionization, optimized starship engines could be useful. Shields. I haven't decided yet. I think the Talos strength one flew five. I think that's going to probably be the better shield. 145, 145, 180, but 0 0.8. This is just shield reinforcement. But if I want to actually go for more of like a dedicated shield, we can either go with 145, 0 0.8, or 180, 0.4? What? Well, wasn't this technically the better shield then? Uh, we're gonna go with the higher strength shield, I think, after. I think that's a good idea. Get some better shields going. Wow, look at that bonus income. Where did that come from? Is it from the resorts? Actually, spaceport income. Nice. Oh, I got a kind of a cold for some reason. Okay. Oh, our home planet's not doing too right. All right, let's lower the taxes. We're doing pretty good on bonus income, so we'll drop taxes a bit, make everybody happy. <laughs> oh, I apologize for that. All right. Yeah, I want to look at my home planet here and see what's sitting at the construction yard. So we've got our constructors, they're lined up and ready. And then we've got the Outrageous Odyssey. Uh, it doesn't say, but I'm assuming. I'm gonna assume that that's a colony ship. Yeah, it's definitely a colony ship. So once that's done, uh, I really do wanna wait for that to be done because I want it to Oh, well, they colonized it anyways. So there's really no point in waiting for it to be done because as I, uh, as I'm, as I could think, I don't think there's any other planets that were worth colonizing around us. The only other logical thing was to take them over. So what we're going to do, as much as I don't want to, we're going to scrap the ship. It's only at 20%, so it's not that big of a deal. And that will finally get our construction ships in there. We need those puppies bad right now. Wow, 13,000 credits. Okay, let's go ahead and queue up some uh, some ships to be built here, some military ships. Uh, we're going to go ahead and beef up. What fleet do we want to actually beef up? Uh, assault fleet, because we're going to go to war, right? send them the repair and refuel and we're gonna beef up our assault fleet so let's what do we want to put in there we got some heavy cruisers wait a second well, I just lost a bunch of credits there and purchase cost the heavy cruisers I don't think I've actually designed them yet I haven't I've only done escorts and destroyers, and I made them the missile strikers uh, class. I also misspelled missile there. Somebody pointed that out at one point, I remember. Um, the missile. Oh, I don't even know if I... <clears throat> there we go. The missile striker MK... Uh... No, uh, yeah, MK1 is fine. Wait, MK1, do I want? Have they even been upgraded? Or have they already been upgraded? No. Maybe? I don't remember. Okay, we're just going to call it a Mr. Striker. Yeah, we haven't done a light cruiser, heavy cruiser battleship because I want to do, uh, I want to make the, I think the light cruiser is going to be like an electronic warfare ship. The heavy cruiser is probably going to be like, 
I don't know. And then battleship. Yeah, I don't know yet. But let's get some uh let's get some destroyers. Let's get some missile boats out and about in our fleets. Wrong screen. So the missile striker. Here we go. We're gonna purchase one, two, three, four of those. And then one, two, three, four, four more escorts. So if we actually go into our ship screen here, we're going to put two of these in the first assault fleet, all four of these in the first assault fleet. And then I want to put two of these in the uh, homeworld defense fleet, like so. And taking a look at the... Uh, screen here we can see everybody's doing pretty well assault fleet still pretty beefed up that's an odd number i don't like that i'll change that later so isn't technically the 18 but they've got a special hyperdrive that takes like certain fuel and stuff they just can't they can't keep up with everybody else it just doesn't work all right so yeah that is where we sit right now however we are out of time for this episode um awesome so we've got construction ships that are getting finished up so we're gonna go ahead and probably send them to the debris field up here that we now can't see because uh these guys own it so we're gonna figure something out for them to do we'll keep them busy i might go ahead and check the uh the expansion planner and see what kind of resources we could use more of and then uh, we're going to keep building up our military. And I think next episode we're going to go to war with these guys. Because holy crap. Are they just all of a sudden blowing up. Their military strength is not blowing up. But they have way too many planets. In fact they have 8 colonies. I wouldn't be surprised if they collapsed in on themselves. Because of the amount of colonies they have. Now the game has a tendency to generate the kind of colonies that you can colonize. More around your home starting area. Because... Uh, it makes it a little bit easier for for the player and for the ai to get off their feet and find planets because you know if if like a bulk of the uh your the colonizable planets you could colonize early in the game are starting in random places all over the place it makes it kind of difficult because then you could never get to them technically because you can only colonize within like 1.5 sectors of your home system so both of us uh, humans kind of starting here them taking off and becoming spacefaring pretty early in the game there's just a lot of uh, continental planets in this area but yeah we're gonna have to go to war with them so that'll probably be the plan next time um i got the transportation ships lined up so we'll get ready and we'll go to war so thank you very much for joining me i do hope you guys enjoyed this episode and i look forward to seeing you next time